morning, everybody. It is Saturday, December 26th, the day after Christmas. I am out here at Kings Mountain State Park. I uh, dropped my car off at Crowder's Mountain State Park. My wife gave me a ride over to Kings Mountain State Park. All right, thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Have fun. <laughs> and I'm going to do a 12-mile day hike, Crowder's Mountain to Kings Mountain. As you can see, well, it's following me, so I can't get the sign in. But uh, I am at the uh, group campsites of Kings Mountain State Park, uh, headed down into Kings Mountain State Park, and I'm going to catch the Ridgeline Trail, which is a 12-mile uh, trail going all the way to Crowder's. It's a uh, it's a little nippy this morning. It's 18 degrees. But it is absolutely gorgeous out there. There is not a cloud in the sky. Uh, no leaves on the trees, so it should be for some good uh, sights out in the backcountry. Looking forward to it. Uh, using this hike to test out some new gear that I got for Christmas this year. So uh, we'll go over that a little bit later in the in the video. Uh, and, and to get a, a, an early start on getting some exercise in. I got, got some... Uh, two big announcements for some two big hikes that I'm going to be doing this year uh, so uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later too so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started we have a little bit of a road walk going through Kings Mountain group campsites got about a half a mile hike to get to the trailhead of the ridgeline so we're in one of the group sites I think this is group site number six uh, and what we have here is a fire ring and the significance of this fire ring is uh, one of my Eagle Scouts, uh, Brandon, built all these fire rings in the group sites for his Eagle Scout project. This would have been back in 2011, I think, you know, nine years ago, and they're still, they're still holding up. So glad to see an Eagle Scout project still in use. We have made it to the end of the road here. Get ready to jump on the trail. Uh, we are jumping on the Ridgeline Trail. So we've got about a quarter mile hike to get to the Ridgeline Trail. Uh, we will be taking the Kings Mountain Blue Trail, uh, which is a 16-mile loop that goes all the way around the state park. It's an actual beautiful trail. We've made it to the Ridgeline Trailhead. Three miles to Boulder's Access, and then another nine miles to Crowder's Mountain. This is the trail here and it will be identified by Red Square. crossing and this is the first of three we are now heading up to an area called boulders uh, this is our first real ascent of the day uh, it should be a nice little workout on the legs and the lungs and uh, we will see you when we get there all right we made it to boulders overlook uh, that wasn't too bad uh, let's uh, let's go take a look at the boulders and uh, I might even climb up there. I used to be able to climb up there. Let's see if we can do it again. It doesn't look wet, so uh, I think I'm gonna try to climb up there. I successfully made it to the top of the boulders. Uh, I have been here many times before with the scouts. Eating lunch up here, it's it's got a beautiful view. Did you know that I liked gear? I love gear. So I got uh, two pieces of new gear that I'm out here testing today, and we'll talk about the first one. The first one is this little piece of equipment. It's called the Garmin InReach Mini. And what it is, is it's a satellite communication device. Uh, I got it uh, because when I went on my solo hike back in October, there was a lot of family members concerned about my well-being on the trail, uh, being out there alone. And again, you're not really alone. But, uh, you know, what if you get hurt? How do you get rescued and that kind of stuff? So this little thing here 
uh, has the ability to communicate via satellite. I've got it set up so if I send, I can send text messages, or really email messages to my wife. I've got three preset messages. The first one says I'm at the trailhead. The second one says I'm just checking in and everything's okay. And the third one is I'm at the, my campsite for the night. Uh, so I can periodically send these messages to my wife or whoever uh, I set it up to be a contact. And in that email that they get, it has my GPS coordinates where I'm at. And, uh, and it lets them know I'm okay. So it, uh, it's, it's pretty expensive, uh, but it, it gives people peace of mind. And, uh, and it does have on the side here, uh, if you can see that, it has an SOS button. So if I were to fall and get hurt, uh, seriously, uh, I can press that SOS button and it will send out an emergency signal to emergency services with my GPS coordinates to uh, locate me, find me, and uh, rescue me if needed. Uh, so uh, it, it's a little peace of mind for my family and it gives me a little bit of peace of mind too, knowing that if I got injured or hurt and needed help, that there would be a way for me to communicate. So that is my first piece of equipment. Uh, we'll get a little bit farther down the trail and talk about my second Christmas gift. Found a nice sunny spot on our second road crossing. Gonna stop here and have some lunch. It's a good place to stop for lunch. After lunch, we'll talk about my second piece of gear that I got for Christmas. So the second piece of gear that I got for Christmas, it's a good Christmas, was this. And this is called the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire. Uh, it's a, basically, it's a smart watch. Uh, it does about 90% more than I need it for. Uh, what I was looking for was a watch that would track my hiking, track my mileage, but it's also a GPS watch. So it'll uh, connect with GPS, it uh, downloads maps. Uh, so if I need to see a map of the, where, the location that I'm at, I can pull up a map on the watch. It also connects with the Garmin inReach so I can send messages uh, from my watch to the inReach up to the satellite and out to the people that need to see it. So uh, two pretty essential pieces of gear that are gonna make hiking a little bit safer, especially for these solo trips. So those are the two uh, Christmas gifts that I got this year that are uh, pretty good gifts. And uh, we'll get down the trail a little bit further. We'll talk about a couple of big trips I got planned for this coming year. Second road crossing. Back on trail after good lunch. Needed to refuel a little bit. We are making our final ascent. This is about a mile hike and a thousand feet vertically to get to the top of the pinnacle. The goal here is to not stop. Just keep on moving no matter how long it takes. Uh, when we get up to the top, I'll tell you how we did. All right, here we go. Here's the steps.
have reached the official end of the Ridgeline Trail. Uh, that was a pretty brutal climb uphill. I did have to stop one time, but that was only because people were coming up behind me and I was going so slow, I had to pull over and let them pass. Uh, this next little section here is a short, I don't know, half quarter mile trail to get to the top of the pinnacle. And it's probably another three, 400 feet up. So let's go ahead and make that climb, catch some views from the top of the pinnacle. View from the top of the pinnacle. Well, since it was an epic climb to the top of the pinnacle, it might be time to talk about some epic hikes that are going on in 2021. The first hike that's going to be epic will be taking place the first week of April. The Old Man Hiking Club is going down to South Carolina and we're gonna hike the Foothills Trail. Uh, it's a 77 mile trail and we're gonna go from Oconee State Park to Table Rock State Park. Uh, we're planning on a seven day, six night. And uh, by the time we finish, we will be through hikers. We will be through hikers of the Foothills Trail, which is gonna be awesome. That'll be our first climb to fame is uh, through hikers of the Foothills Trail. Got a second hike coming up in uh, September. It was originally going to be a solo hike, um, but uh, somebody jumped on board, wanted to go with me, and so my buddy Carl is going to go with me, and we're going to fly up to Maine, and uh, we're going to go to fly into Bangor, Maine, and then we're going to take a shuttle from the airport over to Monson, Maine, uh, Shaw's Hiker Hostel is going to pick us up and shuttle us over. We're going to stay overnight in the shuttle, stay overnight in the shelter, the hostel, and then we're going to uh, hike the 100 mile wilderness all the way to Katahdin uh, Baxter State Park and then Katahdin Mountain, which is the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. Total, we're looking at about 120 miles. Uh, we're looking at about two weeks. Uh, so we're going to go the uh, third weekend of September and that'll take us all the way to October 1st. Uh, that's going to be an absolutely epic hike and just uh, Katahdin is like hollowed grounds for Appalachian trail hikers. Should be spectacular but it is absolutely no joke. Neither one of those hikes are a joke. We've got to, I've got to get in shape. So that was the impetus behind today's little hike start my training, start uh, using some of the new gear that I got for Christmas, test it out, and see how it works. So far, so good. It's been an absolutely spectacular day. Not a cloud in the sky. Uh, very, very cold this morning, but about two miles in, I started shedding layers because I got warm, uh, trying to control the temperature. So uh, looking forward to the 2021 season, uh, hiking season, and uh, looking forward to some absolutely epic hikes. I'll be shooting some video of it and sharing it out. Uh, you'll get to see it and experience it with me. We are down off the pinnacle. Uh, we are taking a different trail. The ridge line ended a mile and a half back. So I'm on a different trail now to get me down to the car. As you can see by the orange circles, those are the blazes that are gonna take me down this trail, down to the parking lot. There's another alternate path but I decided to take this one. I haven't been on this one in a long time. So we just got a couple miles and then we'll be back in the parking lot. And here we are. This is the Crowder's Mountain Welcome Center and this officially ends the hike a great hike. It was a great day. I was literally by myself until I hit the pinnacle. And then there was a lot of people up there. As evident by the parking lot, there was a lot of people here.
the end.